Seven defending mistakes, and we're going to start right now. And we're going to show you how you can move from mistake to somebody that does it perfectly. <laughs> the first mistake is preparing late. I see a lot of people that are preparing the racket when the ball bounces against the wall. The racket should be prepared before the ball bounces against the wall. Two things are very important. So the preparation of the backswing should be very early and very slowly. So the ball is coming. The ball is coming early. If you prepare late, then this is fast and this is very hard to control. Like a moving record is very hard to control. It's very easy to control something that is here and then to go there. So your backswing should be slow. You want to park the racket, parking modes like uh, with your car. And then at the moment you think you have to swing the racket, you go from parking mode to your first acceleration, to your first gear. Try to do this. Very strange. So it's better. Racket back, wait, you choose where you want to play, Boop. play the ball. Make that sound as well, it's much better. To train the early preparation, you should try to do this drill. Ball is here, I am back. Yeah? So once you know the ball is coming, you prepare the racket. Forehand, second. And I'm preparing as early as possible. So you see, my racket is in parking mode every time parking mode take number two the preparation low this is perfect for the lob but not for the regular defense yes so the mistake is that your racket is low and the ball is high try to keep the racket in the same height as the ball or sometimes higher than the ball to play the ball down So if you want to improve the height of your preparation, you can train it in two different drills. One is to the court with the friend, and he's going to feed you high, low, medium, high, low, medium, high. And you have to adjust every single time. So the record is changing every time. Your coach or your partner is going to feed you the same ball every time. You don't learn anything. He needs to change the height of the ball, so you have to adjust. Or you play against the wall, so you're playing against the wall and you have to change the height of the backswing every time. So you play high on purpose, so you prepare high. You play low on purpose, you play, you prepare low. So you have to change every time. Because if you change every time, you learn a lot. I will show it right now. So I have the ball high, I play high. I have medium, medium. Low, low. Medium, medium. Yeah, I play the ball high, I'm going to prepare high. Boom. Medium. Medium. Oh, I play low. I play low. So if I want to play the low preparation, I can play super slowly. This is the low preparation. If I'm going to be here, it's very difficult. Much wind. Why is it so windy? When we are recording this video. Okay, so... If you're very close to the wall, it is very hard to defend because it's quite a short distance that it has to travel to get the ball back. So it's better to be here. And if the ball is slow, you go back. <laughs> and when the ball is fast, you can stay here. No pasa nada. You can wait for the ball. Um, oh. Um, 
Yep. Ciao. Mistake number four, being in front of the line. Mistake number five, not moving backwards. I see a lot of people that they are here in the correct position. Very good, that's a compliment. Very nice that you're in the correct position. Well done, very good. <laughs> but you have to move with the ball to the wall. The slower the ball, the closer to the wall. So if you're in the correct position and you see that the ball is bouncing behind the white line, you know, okay. I have to use the wall. If you see that the ball is slow, you have to move with the ball to the wall. So the ball is here, don't wait, and uh, hit it like this. Move with the ball and hit it like that, or even better. Yes? I will watch you and I will find you. Move. Don't be lazy. Goed bra. Mit name er Twin. In the basket. Tuck. If you want to improve your footwork, then this will be a very good exercise for you. So, somebody, your friend, or somebody that, that you get off the street, doesn't matter. Um, you say, okay, feed me some balls. One ball before the line, you drop it, boom, hit the ball. Okay, so you lure the other one forward. Then the second ball, you throw the ball under your arm against the wall and they have to hit the ball back. You do that eight times and move as fast as possible. You do four sets. So four sets of those. So mistake number six, overturning. That's not a good idea. It makes life complicated. You don't want to make it complicated. You want to make it easy. I see a lot of people and they're looking to the ball with their chest, but your eyes are here, not there. So just look at the ball like this and this this and this and this will stay in one line a good way to train this is to use the yellow lines once again step away with my first step here there 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 yes so the ball is coming okay prepare and hit Everything is in this line. Everything. Not there. Always here. So I look at the ball. Hit. And I come back. So we're going to show you that she's always stepping backwards with her right foot first and not with her left foot. seven is that you don't stop that you're keeping the playing and with the back wall and that you don't stop so you keep on running and you don't have a moment to take a break that is very difficult to play like this 
because I feel more stressed and uh, yeah, it's so also hard to say what I wanted to say. So it's better to have a break and hit the ball. Then I have much more control. So if you move slower, it's much easier to control the rest. So if you move fast, then the racket is going to be fast as well. So try to move slowly, racket slowly, hit slowly, SOS. Okay, everybody, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos, go to YouTube. We have another uh, Playlist with Paddle Tips videos where we can give you the best tips that yeah, we, we think it's good at least. And uh, on Facebook, we have a playlist as well. So check it out. Uh, please like and subscribe. That will be very, very nice. Gracias. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Hasta luego. Ciao. Adios.